Hello and welcome to this free and easy tutorial for the piano version of Just Like You by NF. You can access the sheet music for this arrangement at pianoversion.org and once you've learned the song you can use the play along video linked above or at the end of this tutorial to practice in real time. Patreon members get three free sheet music downloads a month plus access to all extended tutorials and live events. For more information check out Patreon forward slash piano version UK. Hit subscribe to catch all the latest piano versions as they come out and you can request piano versions of songs that you would like to hear or learn in the comments below. Just Like You is in the key of D minor. That means it's got one flat, B flat. And the chord sequence is the same throughout. So the chorus and the verse and the middle eight all have the same chord sequence. Change is slightly how you play it as we go through. And as we go through, I'll give you some uh, different options for anything that might feel a little bit more difficult. So. Starts on the chorus, which is just in case my car goes off the highway. We start with a D minor chord, and we're nice and soft at the beginning. Uh, the left hand's going to start on D above middle C, so nice and high, for a bar. One, two, three, four. While the right hand above it's going to play A above the D, D an octave above middle C and F above that, so that's thumb, middle finger, and little finger. And the right hand throughout all this, every time we play a chord in the right hand, we're going to roll it, which means we go. So we spread from the thumb up. And we play the left hand at the top of the roll. So it's one, two, three, four, brum. We're also gonna use our pedal a lot through this. So we're gonna use our pedal through every chord. One, so as you can see, I'm lifting my hand up after I've played it, but I'm holding the pedal down. So that starts on a D minor. The second chord is an A major. So where we've just played the D with our index finger in the left hand, we're now gonna use our thumb and our little finger to play A and E around middle C. Now our, in our right hand, our thumb has just played the A, we're gonna stay on the A, but we're gonna move down and play C sharp with our middle finger, and we're gonna play E with our little finger. So that's the second bar, so it's D minor two, three, four, A, two, three, four. Now, as I said, the right hand's gonna keep on rolling. So the third chord is an A7 over C sharp. Over C sharp means that it's a C sharp in the bass. So we're gonna play, we've just played A and E in the left hand. We're now gonna play a C sharp on its own above middle C. We've just played A, C sharp, and E. We're gonna move up, and we're gonna play C sharp with our thumb, E with our middle finger, and G with our little finger. So one, two, three, four. And of course the right hand is rolling. That's for a bar. Then we go back to the D minor with one slight change. So the right hand's playing exactly the same, A, D, and F. The left hand is gonna play the D that we played the first time we had the D minor, but we're also gonna add the F above that this time. That's for a bar. So it's first four bars are D minor, A, A7 over C sharp, back to D minor. Then we're gonna go to a G minor. This is I want you to know when you're alone. So the right hand's gonna go a bit higher, so our thumb's gonna be on D, an octave above middle C, middle finger on G, little finger on B flat, rolling it, and the left hand's gonna play G below middle C and D above middle C with our little finger and our thumb. So it's like we played the A with two notes in the left hand and the spread in the right hand. Then we're gonna go back to a D minor with a higher voicing in the right hand, so keep your thumb on the D that we've just played on the G minor, and then we're gonna play D, F, and A. While the left hand, now there's two options here. So either you play the three notes of D, A, and D. So that's D below middle C, A below middle C, and D above middle C. If that octave stretches too much, just play the D and the A. So we've gone from the G and the D. Your thumb could stay there if you're gonna play octaves, and you go and add the D and the A, or if you're gonna stay in fifths, you're gonna jump your whole hand down to there. G minor, D minor. There's one chord left. We go back to an A major. This time we're gonna play a full triad. That's all three notes of the A major chord in the left hand. So the first time we played the A major, we played A and E, either side of middle C. We're gonna play them again, but this time we're gonna add the C sharp in the middle. And we're gonna hold that for two bars, while the right hand, so we've just played the D minor with our little finger on the A up there. We're gonna keep our little finger there. Our thumb's gonna move down to C sharp. Our index finger is gonna play E and the A at the top. One, two, three, four. Now the left hand's holding, 
pedal still down and the right hand's going to go down and play the A, C sharp and E voicing and exactly an octave above the left hand. That's for the second bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I am restriking the uh, sustain pedal on that second A. Two, three, four. Up, down, two, three, four. That's the chord sequence. So let's try. That's the first half of the chorus. So the second half of the chorus, the chord sequence repeats. So let's just quickly go through that chord sequence because it's repeated all the way through. So starting in the D minor, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, A major, A7 over C sharp to the D minor with two notes in the left hand, G minor, D minor octave left hand, A major, full chord left hand, and then drop down, two, three, four. Let's try it with the, I'll just sing the vocal on that so you know how it matches. So it's just in case my car, a one, two, three, D minor, just in case my car goes off the highway, or the plane that I get on decides that it's my last day. I want you to know when you're alone and you feel afraid, you're not the only person in the world that isn't okay, there's millions of us just. So in the second half of the chorus, we're going to repeat that chord sequence. We're going to play it almost exactly the same with a couple of tiny little differences. So we start on that D minor, just like you, like you, like you. The A is the same. A7 over C sharp is the same. Just like you, like you. Now on that U, we go back to the D minor, same voicing, but we're gonna stop on that D minor. Just like you, like stop, and then play the left hand again. U, two, three, four. Just like you, like you. There's millions of us. We go to the G minor, that's the same. Just like you, like D minor, like you, then the A. Just like you, like you. And we're not going to play the second bar of the A major. So just like you, like stop. A stranger way the mind can wander. Then we're into the verse, which is the rap. Now the first half of this verse, mind can wander, this is exactly the same as the chorus. We're going to play it nice and quiet. Maybe you're out to find love, maybe you lost who you was, and the A. Then I'm going to repeat that again. So that goes through twice in the same way as we play it in the, uh, in the chorus. At the end of the second time round, when we get to the A, we're just going to hold that A for six. One, two, three, four, five, six, off. And that's on, but still relate and feel the same, so we're in a way, guess we do you ever think. On the second half of this uh, verse, this is when the, the rapping goes much quicker, you ever think about what it would be like? We're going we're gonna to play what the strings do, which is kind of a bit stabby. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. Uh, so we're going to drop down now. So the right hand, same voicing that we played at the start, just an octave down. So thumb on A below middle C, middle finger on D above middle C and little finger on F above middle C and we're going to stab it. Now the left hand's going to play octaves. If octaves are too much for stress, stretch, play the low one. And we're just going to go one, two, three, four, and one. So we replay that D minor at the end of the bar. One, two, three, four, and one. We go to the A major, A, C sharp, A, C sharp and E in the right hand, A, C sharp, E, and just a single A in the left hand. One, two, three, Four, and one, two, three, four. Now we go to the A7. Now you could just play the C sharp, E and G like we do in the chorus, or you could play with a full A, C sharp, E and G. It's up to you. And we're gonna play octave C sharps in the left hand. The, the rule is whenever there's an octave, if an octave's too much of a stretch, play the lower one. So we go one, two, three, four, and one. And that's back to the D minor, same voicing that we played. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Four. Then we go to the G minor, same voicing in the right hand, just an octave down. So D above middle C, G above middle C, and B flat above that. Single G in the bass, using your middle finger, because we're going to go back to those octaves on the D minor. One, two, three, four, and one. So we restrike that G minor, two, three, four, and one. The D minor is now the higher voicing, D, F, and A, whilst octaves in the left hand. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to play the A, we're going to play octave A's, just on our thumb, our thumb is A below middle C, and we're going to play C sharp, E and A with the right hand, one, two, three, four, then single note A's and a lower voicing in the right hand, A, C sharp and E, one, two, three, four. 
So those two bars at the end go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, as the verse continues, the right hand is going to play the same. Now, if you want, you can just play the same thing again, but because it develops and the bass starts becoming a bit louder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the left hand notes sustained now. So the right hand's going to play exactly the same. One, two, three, four, and one with the stabs like the strings. So that's, that's remaining the same. The left hand is going to play single notes. One, two, three, four, and one. And we're going to sustain them. One, two, three, four, and one, two, off. G, two, three, four, and back to D, and uh, A, two, three, four, and off. And we don't play anything over the last bar. This is on, you've been so buried in your own fairy tale, the soul's turning, that's on that section. So we'll play that section. One, two, three, four, right hand stabs, left hand hold. Two, three, C sharp in the left hand, two, three, four, and one, two, and off. And G minor, one, two, three, four, and one, left hand still holding, and A, two, three, four, and off, two, three, four. Just in case my car goes off the highway. We're into the second chorus now. We're going to play it exactly the same, first, first half. Second half, we're going to play it slightly different because... It goes a bit heavier here, so the right hand's going to stay the same one. Even with the stop on the D minor, the left hand's going to play low octaves. So we're now two octaves and three octaves of low middle C. We're going to hold sustains. So it's an octave D, and we're going nice and loud now. So where the first half of the chorus has been all soft, we're going to go forte. So just like, just like you, like you, like you. So octave A's, as I said before, if the octaves are too much, go for the lower one. Up to C, octave C sharps, and then we stop on the D minor. There's millions of us. Octave G's, then down to the D, then up to the A, just like you, like stop, two, three, four. And we're into the second verse. Second verse, the first time round the chord sequence is going to be exactly the same as our soft high version. How about yours? How about yours? I guess if... G minor, D minor, A with the drop down. Then we're going to go to the stabs. It's hard to leave though. Look at the guest list. I bet the into G minor. And we get to the D minor. Now the A we're just going to hold there. And we're going to repeat that. Da, 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 da. Infested, yeah, with the feeling of failure. That goes through. We play that round with the stabs. When we get to the A at the end, one, two, three, four. We're just going to play that A major chord, A, C sharp, and E at the end. This is, could you really improve and be something worth saving? We're into the fourth time round the chord sequence, and we're going to play the sustains in the left hand now. This is on, I could pretend like I have all the answers. One, two, three, four, and one. Hold. Two, three, four, and one. Hold. And G, on the G minor, we're going to stop on beat four with the left hand. One, two, three, off. Off. So G two three rest D two off. That's every part of you. But what if we did D unthinkable and cancel our trips? And then on the A, we're going to hold it a bar. Two three four. Pick up your chin and listen to this. And we uh, rest on the last bar. We're into the last chorus. Just in case my car goes off the highway, we're going to play it round exactly as we played it in the last time. So the first half is all the high stuff, nice and soft. The last day, I want you to know when you're alone and you feel afraid, you're not the only person in the world that isn't okay. Then octaves and left hand, just like you, like you, like you, just like you, like stop. There's millions of us just like you, like you, like you, just like you, like you, and we stop on that U. That takes us to the middle eight. Chord sequence is the same. Right hand is going to play the exact same thing that we've just played when we play the high version. Now the left hand is going to play D above middle C, and we're going to play crotchets or chord notes. One, two, three, four, one, two. So for the first time around this chord sequence, that's all we're going to do in the left hand. And it's, so it goes, a three, four, one, two, everybody falls sometimes. Just remember that it's all right. It's the rainy days that give us love for the sun. And if it isn't, I guess I'll be fine believing it does. Oh, yeah. So when we get to the second half of this middle eight, we're going to keep that D going. 
with our thumb and we're going to play an octave below that with our little finger and we're going to play semi breves or whole notes with our little finger whilst we keep the crotchets going so it's one two three four one two three four oh the right hand stays the same everybody falls sometimes just remember that it's all right it's the now when we get to the g minor that thumb's still still going we're going to play g in the bass so that means with our middle finger we're going to play that g if those octaves are too much i would just keep on going without adding those octaves there just keep on going with the thumb so we get to the g minor two three four back to the d two three four then the whole left hand is going to go down to octave a's the thumb's going to go one two three four one while the little finger's going to go one two three four one this is on and if it is and i guess i'll be fine believing a lie we go back into the chorus. Now, this chor the first half of the chorus, which we normally play the soft version, we're now going to play the loud version with the octaves in the left hand. Just in case my car goes off the highway. But it's exactly the same as what we normally do in the right hand. And those octaves are the same as what I taught you for the second half of the chorus in the second and third times round. There's millions of us just... And then we're going to play the same again. Just like you, like you, like you, just like you. And stop. There's millions of us just like you, like you, like you, A, just like you, like stop. I hope that's helped you learn the song. Feel free to ask any questions or make any song requests in the comments below. Thank you for watching.